Hello, hello, YouTube viewers. Listen, last night I had a dream. I had gone to the dentist. They had cleaned my teeth. And then the next thing I know, I hadn't even left the dentist office. Sorry. I had a dream. I went to the d dentist office. They cleaned my teeth, and next thing I know, before I left their office, I was, I was, I was sinking my teeth. I was, I was, I was eating something real, 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 real yummy, sugary, and tasty. That was either, that was either cake or cotton candy, I'm not sure. But no sooner had I had left the dentist's office, I was sinking my teeth into something real, real tasty, sugary, and fattening. And I know I shouldn't have done that. Mm. Folks, pardon me if I burp. I know I shouldn't have done that. But like I say, this was, this was just a dream. No sooner had, had the, had the, had the dentist finished. No sooner had the dentist finished clearing my teeth, I sunk my teeth into something real sweet and sugary. It was either cake or cotton candy. And 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 no sooner had I had I ate that sweet thing, that was either cake or cotton candy, then then I woke up. And I thought to myself, hmm. The other day I thought to myself, hmm, Wednesday. I spent all day reading my Bible or or watching Christian TV and and I thought to myself then why did I do that because because I wanted a closer relationship with my Lord I want to be closer to him now look sometimes we all sometimes we all do things and think and say things and get and get involved with things that that just should not be a part of our lives like like <clears throat> in that dream no sooner huh, what's that doing here okay like no sooner no sooner had I finished that sweet thing in my I mean what I meant to say was, no sooner had I gotten my teeth cleaned at the dentist, no sooner had I gotten my teeth cleaned at the dentist, I was sinking my teeth into something like cotton candy or cake. And I had just been to the dentist. No sooner had I left the dentist in my dream, I was sinking my teeth into something sweet like cotton candy or cake. And, and I know I shouldn't have done that right then. So folks, just as we sink our teeth into things that we should not be involved in, I mean that we should not eat after we brush our teeth or get them cleaned at the dentist, we should ask the Lord to help us to not do things that we should not do after, after we read the Bible. Romans 10 says, Romans 10 says, Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Lord's word. So after we finish reading our Bibles, we should ask him to help us to not sink our teeth into things that should not be a part of our lives. I don't mean to repeat myself, but, but, but when I saw this, when I saw this can of pop here, at the time I was making, I was making this video, I was kind of, I was kind of distracted because, because I had totally forgotten that I put that pop on my nightstand. So that's, so that is one reason why I am repeating myself. Anyway, no sooner had I left the dentist in my dream 
I was eating either cake or cotton candy one. I'm not sure which it was. But listen, right after we get done reading reading our Bible, we should ask the Lord to make us unable to want to to want to indulge ourselves in things that should not be a part of Christians' lives. Matthew seven and John fourteen both say, "Ask and you shall receive." And Matthew six says, "If we forgive those that have." sinned against us, we will be forgiven. I repeat, Matthew 6 says, if we forgive those that have sinned against us, we will be forgiven. But if we don't forgive those that have sinned against us, we won't be forgiven. Luke 6 says, to love your enemies, do good to them, lend to them, and be not concerned that they might not repay. Matthew 22 says, one of the most important commandments is to love your neighbor as yourself, and the other is to love the Lord with everything in you and with everything you have. Mark chapters 9 and, and 11 both say, All things are possible to those who believe. And if you command mountains to move, if you have faith, they will move. So folks, listen to me. We should we should all ask the Lord for a desire to not do anything that we shouldn't do. We should ask him to make us want to pray to not do anything that we should not do. Listen, after we after we pray, watch Christian TV, go to church or read the Bible. We should just pray to not be able to want to do anything that goes that goes against what the Bible says. Whenever we pray, worship Him, read our read our Bibles, watch Christian TV, listen to Christian music, or go to church, or do any of these things, we should ask Him to make us unable to want to do anything that would make us do anything that could make us be willing. To, 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 in, to, in, to indulge ourselves in sin, evil, or wickedness, or any and all kinds of perversion. We should ask him to make us unable to, to indulge ourselves in perversion. But listen, Romans 3.23 says, All have sinned and come short of God's glory. That is in Romans 3.23. Hebrews 13 says, He will never leave us nor, nor forsake us. First John 1 says, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, He will forgive us. He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. First John 4 says, Perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not, not, not made perfect in love. John 8 says, Satan, who is also called the devil, is a liar and the father of lies. John 10.10 10 says, The thief's purpose is to steal, kill, and, kill and, and destroy. So listen, we, we can know if we ask him to make us unable to want to indulge in sin, he will gladly, gladly, gladly answer that prayer. Pardon me if I burp. <coughs> Pardon me. I hope this video helps you. Please share this video with as many people as you can and be sure that they know there is no need to thank me. Only thank the, the, the God of the Bible, who is the only real and true God King and the only true, the only true Lord also. Thank you.